Hey, what's going on everybody? It's gonna be a little bit different video today, so although it is blue sky, it was raining, it doesn't know whether it wants to rain winds gusting up to 30 some odd miles an hour. You can see the bucket that blew out there. That was up here just a minute or two ago. And I'm not going out to chase it in the swamp. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about this next uh, experiment. So, here's a five gallon bucket. And here's a lid. And I'm going to move the bucket out of the way and hopefully place everything in the right spot here so you can actually see what I'm talking about and kind of go from there so it's all an experiment and hopefully I don't have to record this more than just once so 3d printer is not big enough to print a lid so and I'll try to link up someplace uh, to the YouTube video that I found while looking at 3d prints um, which really talks about the system itself over here but um, you need this to adapt it to basically any standard five gallon bucket so you need to print out six pieces and there are a lot what they call locks so there's three slots or tabs and depending if you pick a piece that is with or without a hole and with or without a tab or a slot you need a total of three placed appropriately and you can kind of choose your own adventure and then they have three screw holes i did two um didn't think it was really necessary for more than that and i haven't really tightened it down so but what that gives you is it gives you two holes one could be your fill hole. I kind of wish when they designed it that they designed this where they kind of just kind of spun in and locked, but didn't, but that's okay. And then it give you a different type, so if you're going to have your plug. So the idea is in the bottom of the five-gallon bucket, you have your submersible pump, which is going to um, circulate all of your hydroponic fluid. So i take these out. So basically what you have... And this is a three slot tree. And in the bottom, you would run your hose up through the center. I'm just going to breeze through this and anybody who really wants to get actual details, go watch the, uh, the, the other YouTube and it'll kind of, you know, show you that. This is just a quick rundown. So this is printed all in a PETG or PETG. And then what you would do is you would either do rock wool or some other medium to hold your plant start in there. And they basically just screw in and it sits really deep down into the widget. They're really quick spin in and they are reusable. This is the first time I'm using these type of things. But since I don't have the greenhouse, I'm like, you know what? I still want to play around with hydroponics and do things. So then it would just spin in and go from there. Now, it's a pretty loose fit. I don't have these all tightened down. You can do a little bit of hot glue or other things or silicone just to keep it in place. And then you can stack multiples and when they lock they toggle each other so that way they're not sitting you know one on top and they have variable spaces now i printed out the small spacer and um, there's two other larger size spacers so depending on the size plants that you have and then you just adapt and you know grow so on and so forth um, I'm trying not to keep moving the camera, but so anyways, the idea is once you get to the top, trying to find the top, so the hose that was getting threaded up through the center would tuck into or 
attach into the bottom here and that will come out through here fill up this and it'll slowly trickle the water down and it'll go down through all the different tubes and it'll slowly trickle down through the other ones and then so the nutrient will basically go on top of the plant slash roots and that's how the plants get fed now you don't have to run it continuously uh, but you could you have to figure out what works for your climate, the type of plant, how hot it is, what time of year, blah, blah, blah. And then it has a lid that goes on top of it. And that's kind of that in a nutshell. Then they have this little thing here that apparently, depending on how much pressure you have, you could be pushing too much water pressure and it sits there on top. How it actually works, I don't know. Haven't had a chance to experiment with it yet. Um, but I'm guessing even if it floated up a little bit, then it's going to hit the lid. Just kind of helps disperse the water from there. So basically, you would have multiple of these all stacked up. Power cord going in on this side your fill side on the other your tubes coming up however many levels of tower that you want now I saw that they were using these for um, I think they had little labels or whatever but I would assume depending on the size of the plants that you have you could run a screw in here and use that for support um, sky's the limit as far as that's concerned um, like I said, you've got your spacer, and then stack all these things up as you go. As far as print time on my printer, it wasn't horrible, actually. Um, I think each tree section will say three or four hours. I don't remember the exact time. And then that would go on top of your bucket. So, anyways, that's um, that's one of the experiments going on. Um, I got enough. I'll probably print maybe one or two more trees, and uh, we'll get one bucket going here. Um, and then trying to plant out seeds for this year and get some stuff started in the garage with the grow lights and the heat mats. Haven't figured out what I want to do yet. It's just. With all the rain and other things going on, just uh, been busy. But I'm like, you know what? I need to get some of this thought out and print it up because it takes a minute. Um, but right here, you can do nine plants. I mean, imagine if you had a couple cilantros or dill or basil, uh, leaf lettuce, all kinds of things. They would grow really quick too. So um, they had files for four. Um, in a section and I'm like well that might be a little bit too crowded but I just figured I would start with um, three just to see how it's working I mean the base principles are all the same um, so that's not a problem or an issue uh, so yeah that's basically uh, one of the things to come in the near future uh, like I said a couple more prints and then uh, you know get all the screws tightened up in here and double check if my some small submersible pump I was using is going to work. If not, order one of those up. And it's really, I have all the hydroponic solution. You're just going to put the pump in the bottom of the bucket and mix up the solution and get your plants in the little holders. And that's really it. Um, and just see how the, uh, the light's doing. But yeah, so... That's the kind of wind we've got gusting right now. So one minute is calm, next minute is gusting at about 30. So um, other than that, that's all I got for this week. So 3D printing and hydroponics is uh, what's happening uh, for for this episode or whatever you want to call it. And uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, I probably need to chop that up. Probably forget. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week.